Hello everybody, welcome back to WorldCom Easy Story House series. My name is Brian Stewart and we're taking a look at a group storytelling project by kids. Now this project is unique because each child takes one part of a story and they will either read it out loud or they will recite it from memory. Wow, very good job. So this is a very good way to practice English, to practice speaking out loud, but also to remember uh, vocabulary, to remember phrases, and also be introduced to many different interesting characters and many different stories. This story is taken from one of 25 world famous stories in English. And of course, many of these stories I remember when I was a kid. In today's case, we have uh, Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. That's a little hard to say, isn't it? But uh, this is a very famous story. There's a lot of themes or a lot of life lessons from this, but the main theme is that you should always tell the truth and take responsibility for your actions. So those are the main themes of this story. This story is about a, a, a young girl who's put in a terrible situation. Her father makes promises to the king uh, saying that she can do things that she can't do. And then a magical man, Rumpelstiltskin, comes along and he helps her. But Rumpelstiltskin is not a nice person. He's an evil guy and he wants to take advantage of the girl as well. What will happen? Will the girl fail or will she succeed? What will happen to her? Well, we need to read the story to find out. So I hope you'll join me in learning or reading, listening to the story, reading it, learning some English, and learning some important life lessons along the way. So why don't you join me? See you soon. Easy Story House, Rumpelstiltskin. A miller has a daughter. His daughter is very beautiful, but the miller is very full. One day, the miller sees the king. The miller says, My daughter can be brought into gold. The king says to the miller, Bring your daughter to me. The miller goes home. He says to his daughter, The king wants to see you. So the next day, his daughter puts on her dress, and the miller and his daughter meet the king. Page 5 The king says, Here is straw. Spin the straw into gold. The king puts the gold into a room. The girl sees a lot of straw. She cries and cries. The door opens. A little man comes into the room. The little man says, Why do you cry? The girl says, I can't spin. The little man says, I can spin the straw into gold. What can you give me? The gold says, I can give you my necklace. The little man takes the necklace. Page 7 And he spins the straw into gold. He spins and spins. He spins the straw into gold. It is morning. The king comes. He is happy to see the gold. But he wants more gold. He takes the gold to another room. 
This room is a big room. It has a lot of straw. The king says to the gold, "Here is more straw. Spin the straw into gold." The gold sees the straw. There is so much straw. She cries and cries. Page nine. The door opens. The little man comes into the room. The little man asks the girl, "Why do you cry?" The girl says, "I can't spin." The little man says, "I can spin the straw into gold." What can you give me? The girl says, "I can give you my ring." The little man takes the ring, and he spins the straw into gold. He spins and spins. He spins the straw into gold. Page eleven. It is morning. The king comes. He is very happy to see all the gold, but still he wants more. He takes the girl to a very big room. He has a lot of straw. The king says to the girl, "Here is more straw. Spin the straw into gold. Then you can be the queen." The girl sees the straw. There is so much straw. She cries and cries. The door opens. The little man comes into the room. The little man asks the girl, "Why do you cry?" The girl says, "I can't spin." The little man says, "I can spin the straw into gold." What can you give me? The girl says. What do you want? Page fourteen. The little man says, "Your baby, when you're king." The girl says, "Spin the straw into gold, and you can have my first baby." He spins all the straw into gold. The next morning, the king sees all the gold. The king marries the girl. The girl becomes a queen. One year later, the queen has a beautiful baby. She forget about the little man. One day, little man comes into her room. The little man says, "Give me your baby." The king says, "I can give a lot of gold. Please don't take my baby." The little man says, "Now give me your baby." The queen cries. Page sixteen. The little man says, "I gave you three days. Find out my name, then you can keep your baby." So the king sent a servant to find out names. The little man comes back the next day. The queen says, "Is your name Casper?" The little man says. No, that isn't my name. Oh, on the second day, the little man comes back. The queen says, "Is your name Shortribs?" The little man says, "No, that isn't my name." At night, the servant sees a man in the mountain. He is a little man. He dances and he sings. Soon I am going to take the queen's baby. Rumble Stiltskin is my name. Ho ho! The servant tells the queen the strange story. 
page 18. On the third day, the little man comes back. The little man says, Now, queen, what is my name? The queen says, Is it Conrad? The little man says, No, it is not. The queen says, Is it Harry? The little man says, No, it is not. The queen says, Then, is your name Rumpelstiltskin? The little man is angry. The queen knows his name. The little man jumps on his feet. He jumps very hard. He falls through the floor. And the queen never sees him again.